Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host Jennifer Gianni, and today we're looking at start to finish legs and straps. So again, we're trying to detail and create space to teach what is the working starting position. So that our clients always start from a place of space and a certain percentage of work and readiness in the body. So the body is kind of primed to move. All right, so today, legs and straps. We're on the reformer, a red and a blue spring. So of course, legs and straps is supine with the head in the headrest. And we're placing the big straps, the long straps at the cups of the heels. And we'll look at a, a very common legs and straps exercise, the frog. It's not wrong to teach it in this manner, but you just have to know where you're going. Today, I'm gonna have us bring the legs out and um, have some energy in the feet and the legs so that I'm able to unfold my pelvis and unfold my spine into a neutral position. So I have the, the grounding forces of the back of my head, my mid back and my sacrum, all my primary curves. And then I'm gonna move my legs on this length of my pelvis and of my spine. So when I come back to the starting position here, again, it's a working starting position. I'm not just collapsed, I'm not just hanging out. Um, the start and the end of an exercise should not be a time of complete collapse. That's not what we're doing. We're, we're, we're priming the body, we're readying the body. So then when we give it the cue to move, everything is all ready to start reacting to that movement. All the musculature is already hugged in. Um, and in this exercise, it's really nice because when you lengthen the legs out, the ropes um, are also getting this kind of pulled, pull apart action, this tensegrity system. So you have a lot of feedback. You have the springs under you, which are pulling apart and then coming back together. And then you also have your legs and the straps to give you lots of communication. So on the inhale here, pelvis stays long, spine, shoulders and head, nice and neutral as you lengthen the legs out. We're trying to get as much of a pure movement in the leg as possible. And then when we come in is the time, which is, this is the eccentric phase of this exercise. And this is usually the time where people kind of collapse or hang out and just let the springs bring them in. But this is a really important moment because the eccentric phase of movement is what we usually lose when we get injured or when we get older or we have trauma in the body. So yes, this feels like the work and it is the concentric action of the movement, but the coming back in and the finding the home position, finding the starting position is where we really start to, to train our, our neural system, and we train our coordination, and we train those deceleration muscles and tissues in our body, which are really, really important for us as we grow older. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.